Hello, Internet. My name is Taliesin. And I'm Evertel. And this is the Hot Fix episode. Halloween edition. Yes, I tricked you because it's not really a hot fix at all. Trick or treat, right? Psych. Yeah. Oh, trick or treat. Yeah, trick. Trick. Yeah, you got, you got trick. trick. It's not a, a hot fix at all. It's our 50,000 subscriber Halloween special, but it is hot. For <laughs> Are you doing that all the time? Yep. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Brace yourselves. Um, it is, yeah. Uh, and it's, it's a hot, fi hot fix-esque episode. Mm. We are still going to be talking about WoW. Um, but it's not an official hotfix, that's why there's no uh, intro at the beginning, because nope. all of our hotfixes do have the intros. So today, 50K, guys. Uh, isn't it amazing? It is amazing. I'm not even sure I could count to 50k if I mm. had to. No, it would take you... A year. We're going to talk a bit of Warcraft, we're going to uh, do a Q&A, as promised. Uh, we are going to uh, do a special surprise giveaway. Ooh. Oh. And we're going to tell you uh, some more stuff about cool things we're doing with the channel. First of all... I'd like to apologise for the fact that we didn't get our Suramar video out this week. Sorry, guys. I'm really, really I, sorry about that. I don't know if you can tell, but we've had more important things going Much on. Much right more important now. things to do. Like, I look like I'm just wearing a suit. <laughs> but actually, this costume has taken a lot of work. We can get onto that in a minute. Um, yeah. But uh, 7.1 dropped, it hit live, um, and we looked at it, and I was just about to start doing the Suramar video, and we thought, I just kind of want to play well, really. Yeah. So that's what we did. My apologies, but I promise you uh, we will get that out. But. That was then. This, this is, is now. now. Jinx. Jinx. Oh, we always jinx at the same time. Double as well. jinx. Is that a double jinx? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So, um, <laughs> as you can see, it's really light outside, which is scary. Oh. Because I, I hope know. you're ready, internet. This is going to be a scary episode because it's a Halloween special, which is why I have come in costume. Uh, I kind of think you could have made an effort. Ever yeah, tell, to be I mean, this is like a really last minute. I definitely did not order this from China. Just in case you didn't realise, I'm dressed as Matt Murdock yes. from Daredevil. And I'm Diva from Overwatch. A Diva who is Korean in the video game, isn't she? Yes, but it's how Halloween. Are you, um, how are you feeling about that? How are you feeling about that cultural appropriation? I'm not, I, did, I did nothing to make mm -hmm. myself look Korean. No, you didn't. Maybe that's disrespectful to the character. No. We have worked very hard on these. Oh, we worked so hard. This suit is handmade. In, well, maybe it's handmade, I don't know. But it's, yeah. it's made to order, made to fit mm -hmm. in China. But your headset, Evertel. Oh, my headset. Not sure if you can see it. This is handmade by me. I made this out of foam. Yeah. Um, Absolutely amazing. And I'm quite proud of myself. Yeah. Because a diva. Because a proper diva. Um, Put on your best non-offensive Korean accent. Oh and my give, God. Us, give us a bit of diva. I'm not doing an accent. Yeah, you can. I'm going to win. Nerf this. Was that good? That was brilliant. That, what I wanted to do was run behind a wall. <laughs> yeah. That was my natural reaction. I was like, oh. Um. And I was like, well, how do I kind of wear something in my bottom half um, that also kind of allows the diva-ness to come through, if you know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. And you found your answer, <laughs> didn't you? I did find my answer. And they are this. That's what you bought. I did. Um, and you didn't just buy them. You um, WhatsApped me. I did. A picture I was of them. so excited, and I was like, "This is perfect." Um, and this is the picture that you WhatsApped me <laughs> uh, from, the, like the catalog or whatever, wherever you bought it from. Not and safe for work. No, exactly. And I was on a crowded bus. <laughs> I was surrounded by people, and I felt my phone buzz, and I picked it out, and I, I went, oh, message from Evertel, brilliant. And I looked at it, and everyone was like, we're all squeezed in, really tight together. Mm -hmm. I opened it up, and that picture came on. <laughs> Like, take up my whole screen. And I was like, do, 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 delete, 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 delete. <laughs> so thanks for that. You're but welcome. I think it works. Can we have a little... Yeah, well, you know, I, I, mean, I, yeah, I did, I did, oh my goodness. So, the, so here's the suit. Yeah. Um, this is a, a, what's this? this got a crotch zip. I got a zip. Yeah, because, you know, nature calls. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, that, wow. Well, that, and that is some excellent pant action. I can't so, see the line. I can't I'm see the join. Oh. It works, is what I'm, we're saying. I'm already embarrassed. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and, but there were lots of suggestions that we might come dressed as, like, Sylvanas and Khadgar. I liked that. I did really think about Khadgar. Yeah. I really, really did. We and, thought about it. Uh, I even played with the idea of, like, a belt around my neck. <laughs> yeah, he's got that belt on his <laughs> yeah. collar. Come on, um, get then I, I gave down on the, on the kind of feathery uh, chain It's mail. quite big. But that's heavy. before I saw you making these headphones. Uh, like, if I had known that you were so awesome with foam, 
I am awesome with foam. <laughs> Ever tell officially awesome with foam? True. Uh, For make all a your note foam of that. Needs. Yeah, absolutely. If I'd known that, I could have bought loads more of this grey foam, and we could have made. Yeah, I could have made you costume. robes out of foam. Would have been good. Too I'm late. so sorry. Maybe Too next late. year, guys. We are hitting town tonight. We're hitting London in these costumes. We are going to the loading bar in Dalston. Yeah. Um, if anyone is still about, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but we will already be there. Who knows? If anyone's about, come down, say hello. Um, our drinks choice for today, for the scary Halloween episode. Yes. Try not to get too scared by our drinks choices, guys. It is... Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Oh my what goodness. does that tell you? The, well, you should know because you bought it. It's I did buy this. Beaver Town Stingy Jack Spiced Pumpkin Ale. Ooh, seasonal. Yeah, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that sounds fucking disgusting. Mm. And I think you're going to be right. But Evertel bought these. You bought, you bought two of these. I did, one um, for each of us. We're just going to go for the one. Uh, yeah. Because you brought it home and you were like, oh my God, oh, we drink this in America all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so great. I feel yeah. so American right now. <sighs> oh, yeah, well. Let's put your money where your mouth is. Let's try yeah. this. Uh, it's seven percent, which is quite. It cost three pound forty. It was a treat. It was a, it was a treat for Halloween. Three pound forty. That's like look, man. This country. One euro. This Cheers. Up yours. There's a picture of a Cheers. terrifying pumpkin-headed person on this can yeah. as well. So with that's scary in itself. Do I get the first sip? Yes, of course you get the first sip because you're the American. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Um. To a happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And to a little taste of Beaver Town. Yeah, stop wasting time. Drink Stingy it. Stingy Jack. Mmm, is that nice? <laughs> you, you don't sell it very well, I've got to say. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, fuck my ass. It's horrible. <laughs> We want to talk uh, a little bit about uh, World of Warcraft because, I mean, we weren't going to talk about Warcraft in this video at all. We're going to leave that to a proper hotfix video. But I want to express my dismay uh -huh. at, at the fucking spoiler that I was oh, subjected to. Oh, no. Now, okay, right now, stop. I'm going to put a timestamp on this video right now. Okay. If you don't want to know about the ending of the Nighthold raid, if you don't know what happens in that cinematic and you don't want to know, uh, then skip to this time in the video right now. I'm going to put it in the description so you can click on it and uh, skip straight to it. Yeah. Um, and if you haven't clicked on it, tough shit. So I saw this <laughs> fucking spoiler um, and I was oh. absolutely destroyed because, okay, right, so at the end of Nighthold Raid, uh, the cinematic's just been data mined, it's out on the internet, it's everywhere. I was absolutely right and in our... Um, 7.2 oh, fix the video. Oh, you were so right. That um, an NPC totally comes along and steals that kill. He just like swoops in, now, kill steals. If I've been sitting there wiping to fucking Gul'dan for the last couple of weeks, and he comes in and steals that kill, Illidan, I was never a big fan in the first place, I'm not going to lie, but you are, you are treading on thin fucking ice now. And no, he turns no. around and he says, you have seen what I have seen. Follow me into the abyss. Ooh, what do you think that means? Well, I think, uh, yeah, you go into the abyss, Illidan. <laughs> uh, you have just pissed me Bye. off. I'm stealing my <laughs> kill. I'm going to wait here. I'm, you go into the abyss, Illidan. I'm going to stand here and wait for Gul'dan to respawn. <laughs> and I'm going to fucking kill him. Without your help. You're going to fuck right off now, Illidan. And I'm going to keep his skull. I'm going to keep it. And if yeah. we're going to destroy his skull, I'll be the fucking one to destroy it. I, I'm going to disenchant it yeah. and get useless shit. Where but were if you I want to do that, I'm going to do that. Exactly. Where the fuck were you in this raid, Illidan? <laughs> oh, no, you go into the abyss, Illidan. You go into the fucking abyss. We'll see you fucking later. GG, <laughs> Illidan. GG. Oh, oh, man. I hate Illidan. Man, I'm, I'm Oh, I, hate, so I haven't sorry. even done the fucking raid yet. I'm so sorry. I haven't even done the raid. I already hate Illidan. So much so, because I saw that before um, uh, I actually um, started on the patch mm -hmm. and like the new Illidan quests come up. And I was like, I'm not sure I can be fucked. <laughs> I'm not, sure, not sure I need to know what's going on with Illidan, to be no, honest. No, you know what? I'm kind I, of done with this Illidan storyline. The, the more I follow this storyline, the closer I get to him stealing my Gul'dan kill. Maybe I'll just keep him on ice. <laughs> Maybe we'll just keep him it's there. Good thinking. Fuck Illidan. Good thinking there, man. Oh, fuck Illidan. Um, so I guess that's the end of the spoiler section. And who would have known that Khadgar was a demon lord after all? I know, right? I hope I get the timing on that stamp right. Yeah, you better. So welcome back. Um, if you didn't want to hear the <laughs> spoiler. Oh, lol. 
is jokes. Um, uh, to celebrate our 50k, um, we're going to do... Oh, I've got 50k. 50K. How cool is that? I know the grand scheme of um, internet stuff. That's not huge. That's not loads. But it feels huge to us. It feels huge to me. Huge. Certainly. And um, just before our six-month birthday as well, mm. we started this channel on the 25th of April. 2016 that's when our first video came out i mean obviously i started work on the video a bit before that yeah um and the first video came out and uh we launched the video and i instantly subscribed to the channel with my three different email accounts yes. um and Me then I, I watched it on my three different email accounts <laughs> yes. and then i liked it on my three different email <laughs> accounts and then you did the same and then we went to bed and i remember when i was i was really excited i was like i went to sleep and i was like you know what i reckon and we already had one view that isn't us mm -hmm. i reckon by the time we wake up I reckon it'll have had a thousand views. A thousand. That's what I think. I think it'll have had a thousand views. I went to bed and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, <laughs> it was like Christmas. And it was like Halloween. And I kept waking up. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I woke up. I looked at the phone and literally not a single view. No. Overnight. Well, not a single one. It took oh. us two days to get to 10. Hey, and you know what? You've got to start from nothing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, those people that did eventually start watching it, in their minuscule numbers, because mm -hmm. uh, again, it took us uh, it took us about three weeks to get a hundred subs. Yeah, it was about that, wasn't it? Because I remember yeah. going to my auntie's house and we were having some tea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at my auntie's house having tea. I was like, we got a hundred YouTube subscribers. They're like, so what are you? What Just, are you? you know, got a hundred YouTube What are you doing? Subscribers. And we were like, got a hundred YouTube, YouTube subscribers. subscribers. Just so you know. Not sure if you heard, but we have a hundred. Uh, quite YouTube a big deal around here. Yeah. Um, these parts for our hundred subscribers. <laughs> um, and, and but those comments that people left uh, at the very beginning um, were gold dust to us. Yeah. Uh, they were really, really great. And I've learned a lot about human beings and about YouTube as a result. Um, and we, we could have easily have given up. Oh yeah. You know, and, 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 and we could have easily gotten a ton of comments that were like. Fuck off, noobs. Yeah, and like, your content those didn't sucks. come until a bit later, did yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those um, came later. Yeah, the initial comments that we got were really great, and people were going, oh, there was one that I remember who was like, um, I'm glad to be in here at the beginning, so that this time next year when you've got 40k subs, I can say I was like the first or something. Aww. And that comment kept us going. So it's guys, if you come across a new YouTube channel, and if you watch one of their videos, um, and if you think it's good, please comment on it, and please just give a little bit of support um, and uh, a little bit of encouragement because I, I always do that now. If I come across a new YouTuber who's not got many views and yeah. things and if I like their video, I'll give them some support and some encouragement uh, because I know how much it meant to us. It really, really did. Yeah. Um, and it still does because our comments are the best thing about our videos. Better than the fucking content up the top. Absolutely. Um, I live for the comments. Oh, those comments are so great. So, and what we're going to do is we, we opened up the comments uh, for Q&A. Um, for this episode, that's the, this is the whole point of this episode. Um, we will answer them as honestly as we possibly can. Yeah. Um, should we put on some spooky Halloween music at this point? Yeah. Yeah. What what counts as spooky Halloween music to that's, you? That's that's spooky and. Whoa. Um, spooky. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's not a very spooky dance you're doing there. Well, I'm I'm hearing Thriller in my head. <laughs> okay, it's not Thriller. Question one. Um, this is from uh, Nicole Vieira Gibson. Um, oh, so my guess on your costumes: Talia Essence, Cadgar, Avatars, Jaina Proudmore. I can see it. Fail. I know, I wish I kind of wish I had gone as Cat Guy now. Yeah. I know. That's what I wish. But never mind. Next uh, okay, year. Next, re hmm? next year. There's always next year. Well, you say there's always next year. Maybe this channel will have folded by next year. Cool. Maybe we'll lose all our subs because of this shit video. Maybe we'll be like, this video is not scary at all. You promised me a scary video and, and Tally S and your costume sucks. Unsub. Unsub. Damn. Didn't think about that one. Noob, you man baby. <laughs> Quit with the jokes. Why all the jokes? I come here for info, hard info. <laughs> what, what, quit all the jokes. You're not funny. Those are my favourite comments. Your girlfriend's hot, but you're not funny. <laughs> uh, a little bit of gaming history would be cool. How you stumbled onto WoW? How long have you guys been together? Did gaming come before or after your relationship? And YouTube, what you guys, what guy got you guys into making the channel? Grats on 50k, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Thank you, Nicole. You're awesome. Friend yeah, of the channel, thank Nicole. thank you. I like Nicole. Yeah, a lot. Nicole's the bomb. Yeah, awesome. Um, do you want to make a start on that? Yeah, God, that's, chip away that's, at that massive iceberg of a question. Pretty loaded. <laughs> My brother had a um, had a Nintendo. The first thing that was actually kind of mine that I felt real ownership that I could like play games on was my PC. Okay. And uh, yeah, um, I remember playing dogs and cats with a Z, pets. Remember that hardcore gaming there. 
but it, but just saying, just saying. <laughs> it, um, but then I, I played um, Twinson's Odyssey on my PC. Love Twinson's Odyssey. I yeah. love Twinson's Odyssey so much, and to the point that I just I weep and I bawl every time I see that like opening game cinematic. It kills me. It just destroys me. And then I, I played Grim Fandango. That's another one that jumps out to me as like one of my favorite all time games. So you've always gone for kind of RPG type games. I have, yeah. I've always loved being able to control a little character. I guess kind of my, my entry into World of Warcraft was via a different game, actually EverQuest. Did I you was, play EverQuest. I loved EverQuest. <laughs> I was so hard into EverQuest. Maybe because a boy I had a crush on left like his EverQuest statuses in his like aim away messages. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about when you say AOMA. What's that? Aim. Oh, aim. Aim. <laughs> AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, no. Yeah. And he was totally on my buddy list and he'd, he'd leave these messages about how he's playing EverQuest and I was like, oh, I need to get in on this. I was always inclined towards like fantasy games and stuff. Yeah. So I made the plunge. It was amazing. And then gradually I kind of found my way to World of Warcraft, mm. probably around like Wrath time. We're both Wrath babies. Yeah, we are. Yeah. I remember my dad taking me to Toys R Us when I must have been about uh, six because I wanted a computer mm. and I wanted a computer and I couldn't eloquate it properly because I was six, but I knew I wanted a Nintendo and it was a NES at the time. That was the only thing. Yeah. SNES hadn't even been released. There was oh. no significant. It was just oh. NES. And I was like, take me, buy me this. And my dad took me there and we came away from Toys R Us with a Sinclair Spectrum 48K. Wow. That's one of those ones where you had to put the tapes in and oh. they'd load like, and it'd take 10 minutes to load like a, a Shadow Ninja or whatever, and then you die and you'd have to load it again. And I remember my friend, Matt, Matt, Matthew, he had like a, a NES. Yeah. And it was like the best thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. And then for my birthday, I got a Game Boy mm. and that was pretty cool. And then I did eventually get a NES. Nice. And I, oh, I was one of those people that was like super loyal to Nintendo. Oh, okay. To the extent where when I did like drawings and stuff, I'd draw like Super Mario punching Sonic and stuff like that. Okay. In fact, I think I had one of my drawings of Super Mario punching Sonic as my birthday cake one year. I had it kind of like screened onto my birthday <laughs> cake and it was like Super Mario like Ooh, doing like a, a dragon punch or something and, oh, and, and, and Sonic going oh I'm not as good as Nintendo oh, I um, love it. yeah yeah I love it um, so I always used to play Nintendo <laughs> and like upgraded to SNES when that came out yeah. um, and I remember queuing outside Toys R Us after having saved all my pocket money for probably about a year mm. to buy a Nintendo 64 nice. when that released nice. um, and then when I went to college that's when I sort of went on to PC gaming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, got into it like that. And I loved all the uh, RTS games. So mm. I always play, I played a lot of um, uh, Warhammer 40,000 Dawn of War. Because I used to play Warhammer a lot. The tabletop um, with painting the models and stuff like that. And uh, pen and paper role play games. I used to play a lot as well. I used yeah. to play Vampire the Masquerade. Ooh. How long have you guys been together? Did gaming come before or after your relationship? I think we kind of answered that. Unless we got together when we were... Although, I think we did kind babes. of get each other... We did get each other back into Warcraft. We, we did, we did. I remember very vividly this conversation we had in one of our very early dates when I kind of outed myself and uh, in my night elf. It was in the first date. Was it in the first... Yeah. Oh. And it, that came up pretty fast. And I remember seeing your eyes just light up. Because I, I wasn't having a very good time at all. I was bored shit. Oh, God. And then you, you mentioned. Me. <laughs> and then you mentioned Warcraft. And I was like, ah, oh, I mentioned like. You're like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what got you guys into making the channel? Uh, do you know what? I'm not sure I should say. What? Well, uh, we were watching a lot of. I was watching a lot of uh, YouTube, like Warcraft YouTubers. Yeah. The thing that actually spurned us to make this channel was when um, it was the alpha of Legion mm. and everyone was doing their alpha videos and Heel versus Babyface, who I'm subscribed to and who I really like and who I think is awesome and I like seems like the kind of guy that I'd love to just hang out with and have a beer. I think oh, they're a really good time. He's a really sound guy, clearly, clearly as is like a, a really nice guy and he's clearly awesome at making YouTube videos as well. Um, but he brought out this video, which was, uh, fuck you, Blizzard, Garrison's Return. <laughs> yes, I remember And, like, that. I remember Blizzard, like, even writing on their forum, like, yeah. this is not how it's going to work. This is not mission tables. This is not going to be how it works. And whether or not that's happened in Legion is, is kind of irrelevant. It was the fact that he just went off on one completely. I think I remember the thumbnail. Yeah. He literally said, fuck you, Garrison. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> fuck you, Garrison's Return. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, do you know what? I'm quite looking forward to Legion. I quite, I feel like I like this game and I feel like a lot of YouTubers don't. Oh, thank you. Um, so I, I, we just thought we wanted to kind of 
present our sort of version of Warcraft, which mm. is like coming from a place where we actually really like it. Ah, this one's from Jakub Sobieski. Well done. Yeah. You're good. It's, it's the Poland. Yeah. What is your favourite quest line or story in WoW? Ooh, what is your favourite quest line or story? Just off the top of my head. Okay, I'm not going to go far back. I, I'm going to stick with Legion just because there are too many to talk about. But the one that I absolutely fell in love with, with in Legion is Runus' quest line. Oh, it's great, isn't it? I loved it because it took, you know, I, I didn't like the character. I was annoyed by the character. I warmed up to the character. And then it's just, it's like, it's, I felt like I was just being ru like wrung out. That's my favorite story in like recent memory, or at least from Legion. That like, that, that's when I was just playing through it and I was like, am I going to like this expansion? And that happened and I was like, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> How about you? What's yours? I love Jaina's story throughout yeah. the uh, throughout the thing, and I I don't like what Blizzard have kind of done with her. Mm. Well, no, actually, you know what? There's nothing wrong with what Blizzard have done with her. I don't like people's reaction to what Blizzard have done with her because, mm. like, she hates the Horde, and she's all like, "I hate the Horde," like obviously, because like it's perfectly natural that she would hate the Horde. And it's perfectly natural she'd be what we would see as being slightly irrational in her hatred to the Horde. Sure. And that's perfectly acceptable for her character. Like, why yeah. would you not accept that? She's got a lot of grief to deal with, And I'm you know? disappointed by people in the WoW community who are like, oh, she's nuts, she's crazy, she's gone mad now. Mm. It's like, no, she doesn't. She just fucking hates the Horde, man. The Horde hate us? What's wrong with that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Get over it, dudes. I'm with you. I like Jaina's storyline. Yeah. And I still think she's going to come back on, like, a fucking white steed I hope and so. rescue everyone. I hope so. I, s I stand by that. <laughs> um, this is from Fred Myers, Halloween costume guest, Tally Essen, Millhouse Manorstorm. I'm six foot three. <laughs> I can't pull that off. I'd love to. I really would. I'd, be, I'd make an amazing Millhouse Manorstorm. You really would. Maybe in like the 90 little, years little, time, little, when I'm very small and wizened and totally bald. Oh, you'd be so cute. And I've grown the moustache You'd be so cute. I'd totally do that. Oh, I'd love it. Um, and you, I was, oh, you're so much. So That's actually a really good one. I love it. Except it would be shit because it keeps falling off. <laughs> and you'd be yeah. naked underneath. You'd be like, uh, oh, here I am in you'd my suit, my disguise. And anyone you walk past, you'd be like, boom, gone. Um, marry, kill, sleep with <laughs> Sean Connery, Matt LeBlanc, or Adele. This has got nothing to do with anything at all, Fred Myers. That's what, like, it's like a proper, I need my Halloween drink for this one, because this is a proper Halloween party game, it. I guess. Okay. Uh, I'd probably kill Adele. I hate to say that. Why would you kill Adele? I don't know. She's I so beautiful and talented. Yeah, she is. But my interests in fucking or marrying don't really align with her, so... Oh, I know. Shame, she it? just kind of you like my marry proxy. Adele. She could oh, sing to you, you every day. What? I'd be too emotional if I married Adele. <laughs> I would just be crying all also, of the time. She's always on tour. She's always on tour. Oh, it would you be never really, see her. It would be, it'd be so terrible, hard. It would terrible be, marriage. It'd be really hard. Okay, Sorry, so I'm Adele. Just, I'm doing away, no. with, doing away with Adele. Okay. <laughs> she's dead. She's gone. See you, Adele. But Halloween, uh, how would you kill her? What, what, what would be your Halloween not, death? That, that's not, that's not I think it's a valid no, question. No, no. You just said she's you're going to kill someone. I'm asking you how. No, no, she's going are away. Are you going to go full dismemberment? <laughs> or are you going to are you gonna slow poisoning? Adele, please. Okay, well, that's all I ask. <laughs> it wouldn't be a peaceful... She's not going to go quietly, is she? <laughs> she's going <laughs> to sing about it loudly. There's no way you can she's kill not. Adele quietly unless a voice has gone, Okay, enough of this. quite a lot. Enough of this. Um, sleep with Sean Connery. Oh, Maybe good like choice. James Bond or Sean Connery. I would marry Matt LeBlanc and I would just make him do all of my shit for me. I would marry him as like a kind of. I think he'd be terrible at doing your shit for you. Really? Yeah, you'd be like, Matt LeBlanc, do my taxes. You'd be like, hey. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to marry Matt LeBlanc for his money, <laughs> for, for his cold hard cash. <laughs> I would fuck Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> oh, God. Because, oh, God. Because he's so strong. <laughs> I think I'd feel so safe. And I would marry Sean Connery because... But he'd beat you. <laughs> what? I'd that is love... a, an incendiary thing to say on the internet. <laughs> no, on I... the internet in front of people. No, I love Sean Connery. You just but... called Sean Connery a wife beater. No, I didn't. You did? I'm saying that he has been quoted as saying that he has maybe like hit a woman before. Wow. Okay. What? Not like by mistake when they were filming? Maybe. Look, I don't know where that came from. Forget that. Oh, Cut that. Oh, wow. Cut I'm not that. cutting that. That's in that. there. That is, uh, that's going to be the That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Do that. Please. Evertel accuses Sean Connery of battery. <laughs> no. Anyway. I just asked on. him the time, says Evertel. Go on. Punched me in the face. <laughs> and then obviously I'd kill Adele. Okay. 
Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Could I, instead of deciding which one to marry now, yeah. could I make them fight to the death Yeah. Um, to decide who was going to marry me? And but whoever the... didn't die, I would marry. So that's two birds with one stone. But right who, who would you fuck? Both of the dead ones. And, oh, God. It is Halloween after two... all. Do you have any kids? If not, when are you having some? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> uh, no, we don't have kids. No, we don't. Um, if not, when you're having some. Uh, about eight months, I think. Something like that. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Next question. Cody Spinks. My question is, would you rather be Cadgar for a day or find out where Jaina is? Ooh. Can I answer this one? Yes, please. Um, I'd be Cadgar for a day. <laughs> Obviously. And what would you do if you were a cat guy? I'd, I'd ask for blades of grass. I need you to go out and find me 20,000 blades <laughs> of grass. And like, even though you're in a field and you think there should be grass everywhere, there's, there's no like grass. one blade of grass for every boss Ooh. you kill. <laughs> and even then, it's, a, it's a, like a 40% a, a drop rate. Wow. Yeah. So if you were cad guy for a grass. day, if you were cad guy for a day, you would use that to to torture people. Well, that's what cad guy does. Um, and one of the reasons I would be cad guy without even questioning it mm. is because I've got a feeling we're going to find out where Jaina is anyway. I think so. Yeah. So I think that's coming. I think all too soon we're going to find out where Jaina is. Mm. Cobalt Dragonfly. How many hours a week do you typically play? You casual. How many hours a week do you ca casual? There's a man who calls you a casual, so you must be. You are the cancer of this game. You are a filthy casual. How many hours? A I think he meant both of us. Yeah, well, clearly. And, like, and like, we, you know, let's get something straight. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> and that's fine. There's that's nothing fair. wrong with that. It's a game. Give a shit. Um, but uh, I play it an awful fucking lot. Yeah. And you can call me a shit player, but call me a casual player. Nuh -uh. and now that uh, Legion is released, yeah, I'm playing it every day. Yeah, we, we're both playing every every day now. Yeah, for I mean hours at a time. It's yeah. a bit sad, really. Yeah, but I, I kind of feel like we have to as well. Yeah, and um, I'm enjoying the videos. it. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm if this is Warlord's Drain, oh my god, I'd be dying. We're lucky in that we both play it, so it's a way that we can spend time together yeah. as well. You know, it's, we, we, we don't have to like sneak an hour here or there while the other yeah. one's out shopping or something like that. We don't yeah. have kids, you know, um, and we do the channel, so we've always got an excuse to play it as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what is the beef between you guys and Preacher, or is it just some kind of running joke? No beef between us and Preacher at all. No beef. Preacher is awesome. He's like, great. Uh, he was the first Warcraft YouTuber that I ever started watching um, regularly, you yeah. know, because he's awesome. He's great, he knows his shit, really funny guy as well. Um, and he stepped in to take over hosting that uh, Warcraft DVD launch as well. Oh so yeah, for, from us. He saved we were, our bacon. We, we were supposed like, to host. Preach, we can't do it. We yeah. can't do it. Something's come up. Uh, Kaggar needs us to fetch some shards of something. Yeah, so and like we've we got had, to do that. Like, and Preach was like, yeah, dicks, <laughs> cocks. He just said those words. And we were like, yeah, yeah. sounds I think, good. I think that's Thanks. A yes. I think it's yes. And we all and we were talking to him on a phone each as well. We were yeah. having a conference call. We both call. had a phone. Like, okay, preach. That's and I was a, that's also a... on the phone with Chris Metzen, who like really wanted to mediate the yeah, relationship. Yeah, exactly. So. So, I mean, that's probably why he retired because he couldn't do it. <laughs> he was like, yeah, no, there's, like, there's anyone. nothing left for me. Nothing <laughs> left. Um, After a long and hard thought, I've narrowed down my questions to two. What would your channel be about if we lived in a world without Warcraft? I think this video is probably quite a good example of what our channel would be like without Warcraft. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> shit, to be honest. Your favourite non-musical artist. Ooh. This is a tough one. Because I have a lot of favourite musical artists. Yeah, well, I, you've surely got a lot of favourite non-musical artists as well. I do. Okay. Um, if you count architects to be artists, which I do, in some cases, my favourite non-musical artist is the architect Frank Lloyd Wright. That's fitting. Yeah, which is very That's fitting. Because he made a house called Taliesin. Yep, he did. Which is, is that why you like him so much? No. <laughs> uh, I've always... I've, I've always loved him because he has... This is... Yeah, he, he's just fantastic. He, he creates architecture that's homely, but beautiful, and like super modern. Or he did, rather. He was back in like the 20s. Um, I love him. And he's one of the, like, the first artists that I really cl like clung on to when I was young and I you know his house was actually like one of the houses he built was like back where my family was back in the states and we drove down to see it when I was like 10 and I was just in love and I wanted to be him so he is definitely one of my favorite non-musical artists wow. yeah he's brilliant check him out and yeah and then he built a house called Taliesin 
which is something that I knew about. So when Taliesin was like, my name's Taliesin, and I was like, that means shining brow in Welsh. Does. And I know Born that. Born in mate. Yeah. <laughs> the actual Taliesin. Yeah. yeah. You, know, the, you know, the famous Welsh bard. Yep. So yeah, how about you? What's your favourite non-musical artist? Probably Rolf Harris. Yeah. Oh, this question's from Tim C. Friend of the channel, Tim C. Yes, he is. Of Timmy Tech TV. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Pee Warlock as well. Check it out. Uh, we might well be hearing a lot more from Tim C. Yeah. If plans come together. Q&A, would you rather have a brain lesion that would make you perceive everyone, NPC and real world, as Khadgar, or live in a world where wine was never invented? Well, we're definitely not going to live in a world where wine was never invented. No. Fuck that shit. So I we're just going to have to live with everyone looking like Khadgar. I would love to see everyone looking like Khadgar. But the thing is, how would you know who the real Khadgar was, was mm. to kill when he becomes a, a, do a doom lord? His, his robes would be wet. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Oh Fuck, no! Fuck, kill, marry. <laughs> Not another one. Kadgar Gul'dan. Now, apparently, I say Zavius wrong. You say it with a bit of a British inflection. Do I? How am I supposed to say Zavius. it? Zavius. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to say it then? Zavius. Zavius. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, kill, marry. Kadgar Gul'dan, Zavius. This my so my raid leader is English as well, so he says Zavius. That's sure. totally fair to say Zavius. Yeah, fine, I just think people Zavius. laughed at me in the comments. It made me, made it's me like, really upset. It's like I almost Zavius, gave up YouTube. Darling. I almost gave up YouTube because people were being mean to me in the comments <laughs> about how I said Zavius. Fuck that. Fuck you mean comment people. <laughs> Fuck, marry, Kag. Right, I'm going to do this one. You did the last one. You did, yeah. I would... Okay, I would fuck Gul'dan because there are two of them. I get... Oh my god. He's... Okay, you're right. I would fuck Zavius. Okay. Because have you seen like all the nails he's got through his tongue and stuff? I reckon it'd be pretty kinky. Is he? Yeah, he's a I bit I think of it'd a be freak. pretty hot. I think he's a bit. Of, I think he's a bit freaky, Zavius. <laughs> so fuck Zavius. Sorry, Gul'dan yeah, and Gul'dan. I would marry Gul'dan because he could use all his fell magic to help around the house. Oh yeah, help like, around the house. Or, or, and, and then I'd kill Kadgar, obviously. Oh, that's so obviously sad. because he's a doom lord. <laughs> I would. Well. <laughs> I, I, I would I would do something similar to yours, but slightly different. I yeah, would you, you would also fuck, kill, and marry three of those people. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is quite similar. This is true. <laughs> I would marry Cadgar because I want him around. Okay. Fuck Zavius and kill Gul and kill Gul'dan. Um, Q and A. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's this for is you. for me. Uh, would you choose Evertel or World of Warcraft? That depends. What loot you drop. There's only one way to find out. <gasps> Kill me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I can't go on. Um, I obviously I choose World of Warcraft, okay. obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's your favourite in-game holiday event? Do you have a favourite random encounter out in the wild in the world of Warcraft that you remember to this oh, day? That's another sneaky two oh, questions two, in there. What's your cheaper. favourite holiday event? Obviously Halloween. Halloween's great. Obviously Halloween's I love end. the broom. The broom I love stick the is the broom, best thing the in the world. And like a genuinely like useful in the world yeah, as well. I love it. Um, I, I had it on my old character. Yeah. I don't have it on my new I love account. how it's instantaneous and you just like... <sighs> You're suddenly um, a druid flying around, don't I, you? I also, so great. Yeah, I also just love wearing like the male like blood elf mask. <laughs> it just <laughs> makes do. me laugh so hard. It's like your favourite thing. Yeah, it's really funny. Oh, so it's definitely really Halloween. Funny. Definitely. definitely, yeah. Uh, Hallow's End. Hallow's End. And um, do you have a favourite random encounter in the wilds of World of Warcraft that you remember to this day? I do. What's I was yours? out um, doing my lore master up in Northland, and mm -hmm. I went to some weird cave complex, which was like right to the west. No, right to the east. Mm. Of the, the the continent of Northrend, one of those I'd never even seen before. I was just exploring it, yeah. get my exploring thing, mm. and look for missions. And, and I went down there, and there were ten people, RPing, all dressed in like um uh the same armor and stuff, and they were having their guild, yeah. and they were like proper giving it some RP. And they were there, and they were kneeling, mm -hmm. and they were going through this like initiation ceremony and stuff. It was so great. So brilliant. That is really nice. So I shouted, fuck you noobs, and started dancing in the middle of it. Nice one. In in a true RP spirit. I didn't. I didn't. It was awesome, and it was great. And it was like, Aww. yes, really glad that I'm here. I'm really glad that I witnessed that. It was really cool. I love really that shit. One. Yeah. A recent one uh, that just jumps out to me is seeing the unicorns for the first time in Bashara. <laughs> I think you were there, but I genuinely... Ha I thought I was going to cry. Yeah. Hey, emo this game makes me so emotional. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but um, yeah, oh, just going out into that world and seeing these little like 
herds of unicorns and then little families of foxes. Yeah, it's really well populated, isn't it? It, it is like beautifully populated. Yeah, really cool. So that's that's a very recent one, but it's one that I uh, that I treasure. Top yeah. marks, Blizz. Love it. Yeah. Um, thank you for the question. If Krago is a dreadlord, will you write a song for violin and baritone and have a field day? Yes. How's your baritone? <laughs> My baritone. Am I going to be playing violin and singing? Yes. You'll be like, old man Kadga. <laughs> That's your yeah, That's we, will. we definitely will. We're already going to have a party when when Cadgar mm-hmm. is a dreadlord, um, and we're going to buy everyone drinks in London, uh, and everyone must fly over from all over the world. Yes. All fifty thousand of you must Everyone. fly over, and uh, we'll have a party in London, and we will also write a song. We will a jig. I can't wait. Yeah, a jig. Why not? I couldn't wait before, and I definitely can't <laughs> wait now. What is your opinion of RP within the game, and um, have you? Would you ever consider partaking in it? If so, what type of character? Would you want to play? Ooh, okay, so picture good. the scene. You're an yeah. RP player. Yeah. What RP character would you create? Uh, I would, if I actually did do RP, which I've considered mm-hmm. sometimes, I've been really inspired by just kind of playing and leveling my hunter now. Yeah. And especially now that my transmog totally matches That's my very artifact isn't it? weapon. It's very important. And very it's, purple. It is very purple and it's very night elf. And she has this like amazing helm. And um, and I love it. And I love kind of seeing and playing my character more than ever. So if I did do RP, I would just kind of create a story around my character, which maybe I have already started doing. I don't know. But I would I would love to do that. And in fact, I, I, always, I feel like I kind of slip into RP mode a little bit yeah. every time I play her because I'm just so into it. I'm just like... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, I remember when the Broken Shore scenario started. Yeah. I RP walked that shit. Amazing. You know when you're going around and you get like the food buff from here and you have to fight someone in training and yes. you go there. I was I was RP walking that and I RP walked to the boat. I love the RP. Oh, walk. it was amazing. It's like yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. It was brilliant. <laughs> if you could be any Warcraft character, who would you be? So any character ever. Yes. In the world of Warcraft. In the world of Warcraft. I would be a Pandaren child. <laughs> Cuz they're so cute. You know, I would just be one of those little Pandaren babies. Oh, um, do you know what? Maybe. Fro- would... Like, it's frolicking, you know, yeah. with each other. That's what I would be. Maybe I'd be a moose. Oh. Oh, I'd be one of the wild horses running around uh, Grizzly Hills. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, scrap that. I'd be the wild horse running around uh, in, in my, Gal- just slowly in my herd of horses. Oh. Yeah, really slow galloping. Really slow gallop. So you don't even get tired. Just galloping no, all just the time. So be. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. I, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> or Jaina. Not sure if this qualifies for Q&A, but I have an idea for a video. Transmog contest! People would send mm. you pics and you could choose the best ones. Thank you, Rexar. Well, funny enough... Funny you mentioned that, Rexar. You inspired us. Totally inspired. Uh, for our giveaway. Because this is our 50k episode and we want to run a giveaway. Like we did on our on our... 10k episode. Yes. We do you, you might remember our 10k episode, we gave away two Tayers Bay t-shirts. Do you remember that? Tayers and we Bay? warned you that they were shit. They were We said these t-shirts are shit. Really bad. So if you enter this competition and you win this t-shirt, it's on your own head. Yep. If you don't believe me, here is our Tayers Bay t-shirt. Beautiful. I'm gonna flip the screen very, very quickly so you can read that because we recorded mirror mode. Yep. There you go. And swap back. This is our team Tayers Bay t-shirt. And the reason we still got this Aww. is because one of the people that won the t-shirt never claimed never, it. Never ever got in contact. We have been in touch uh, with to them. To claim it, we couldn't get hold of them at no, all. So I I'm think really sorry. I think they just suddenly realized like the what grave, they've done. the grave yeah. error they had <laughs> just <laughs> they, made. They like, what have I done? And is we're this like, one okay. that I've worn? Is this the sweaty one? Uh, we'll wash it either way. No. So um, <laughs> we still got this Taylor's Bay t-shirt. We are going to give this away. Um, this is going to be our second place prize. <laughs> this is essentially the first loser's prize yeah. in our competition, which we are about to run. So this is up for grabs, our Tears Bay t-shirt. Yeah. And if you win this, you have to have it. You have to We don't want it here take anymore. It. We will, we, you know, we're, we're paying to send it to you, so you have to take it. Absolutely. And our first prize in our giveaway is going to be... <gasps> ta <Ta-da! laughs> We've got a spare Totoro. Now, we didn't buy this. We've always had two Totoros. We've always had two Totoros. Because when I bought this Totoro um, for Evertel as a present... It's a very nice present. I didn't know if it was going to get here in time, so I ordered it from two different companies. 
<laughs> and they both came on the exact same day because I'm pretty sure it's the same company anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, so we've always had two Totos. This one has been sitting in our cupboard, lonely you. and oh, afraid just needs a for home. the best part of two years. Um, and we want him to find a good home. And uh, he's going to be the first place prize. Mm-hmm. He's now got a bit of my fake blood on his eye. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit of us. So uh, if you would like a Totoro exactly like the Taliesin Nevertale Totoro mm-hmm. from, uh, who has been living in our house with us, uh, mm-hmm. then you will need to win this competition. And it's going to be a transmog competition. We've had lots of people asking if we can run a transmog competition. Yeah. Um, and of course, we're going to do it in uh, our special... Tanias never tell way, we're going to run a shit transmog competition. So, worst transmog you can possibly come up with. The rules are, it needs to be your character, or one of your characters. I don't want it to be someone that you've seen out no. in Stormwind. It has to be a photo of your character select screen. Yes. Of you wearing uh, this transmog, okay? And uh, it needs to be the worst possible transmog you can think of. Now, what that means exactly is up to you. Mm. Maybe it's just incredibly mismatched. Mm. Maybe it's incredibly inappropriate for the character model. Right. And the, for the class. Yeah. Um, maybe it matches really, really well, and but maybe it's, it's just, just shoddy. Ugly armor. Absolutely. It's so up to you. Whatever you think, I'd like you to do that, and I'd like you to send your transmogs to the address, which is at the bottom of the screen now, and put shit transmog in the subject line of your email. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing those, don't we? We do. And oh, uh, we will I cannot wait to see what you guys In the next with. Hotfix episode, whenever that may be, we will look at these uh-huh. and we will uh, choose a winner. And maybe we'll even stream it and choose a, lo- a winner live. Oh. Maybe we'll do that. Um, and, uh, and then the winner will get our amazing Totoro. And first the second place. place, the first loser will get the Tears Bay t shirt. Yeah. What do you think about that, eh? I would like to also talk about it just before we finish. Um, our channel. Yes. Um, because this is our 50k video and um, it has amazed us both how much this channel, since we started it, has become such like a massive part of our lives. Mm. And it really has taken over our lives in a way. But it's it been, really has, it's been but great. in the best way. Yeah, you in know? the best possible way. We've made friends. Sort of had fun. <laughs> we've not slept very much because we have to stay up late doing videos every yeah. night. Um, but uh, we've, we've been, met we've been given of, a purpose in life. Yeah, we've met some of the coolest right. people. And yeah. even when we play Warcraft now, people send us in-game mail um, with like wine and stuff, yeah, uh, like Warcraft awesome. wine. People whisper us and say hello when we're playing game. We love it when people do that and like really appreciate it when people take time out to sort of just say they enjoy the video and stuff like that. Um, and you guys are awesome. And I, I want you to know that we still read every single comment that comes through even though we don't have time to reply to all of them i want you to know that we do read every single one of them and we do discuss them we do. as well here and um thank you because it, it has made this entire journey worthwhile and whatever happens next for this channel um whether it grows or whether it you know gets shut down or whatever and, and dies horribly um i'm so glad that we've done it and yeah. i'm glad we've done it because of you it's been incredible and amazing um, I'd like to draw your attention, if I may, to our Patreon. Um, now, we're not going to talk about this much in other videos. Uh, this is our big sell for our Patreon. We've had people donate money through our PayPal, which we also have, which is incredible. Some amazingly generous donations yeah. um, in our PayPal. And the th- fact that anyone would ever give us their actual real-life money so that we can continue doing this. It just blows my mind. It blows my mind. And, um, and, and bursts the, my heart. The more money that people donate, the so more time love. we have to make videos, and the more videos there will be, and the better equipment we can make the videos with, and, and it'll all come through on this channel. Yeah. Um, so we've also set up a Patreon, um, as requested uh, by you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was a bit iffy about it at first, but I've been won over because people's response to it has been really great. We've, we've got a, a decent amount of Patreon patrons uh, who are <laughs> donating wild varied amounts of money whatever they can afford and for people to do that is absolutely amazing and um, if you would like to do that as well please do uh, the address to the, the Patreon is on the screen now and uh, in the link down below and our PayPal as well for that matter so if you want to help us out um, and help us buy some cool equipment yeah. and help us just make more videos uh, then we will be incredibly thankful the, the Patreons get some cool stuff 
They do. Like they get all the intros for the Hotfix videos in high definition. Oh. We post on that Patreon message board all the time yeah. with cool photos and stuff and, and just like updates. And we will be running some specific streams and stuff like that as well. Totally. And there are no reward tiers. You just give whatever you fancy and you are in. You are a Patreon. You get everything. You're in the T&E club. Yeah. So, uh... Get involved, guys. It'd be it'd be great to have you there. Um, and every single one of those people that, that sort of gives us their actual real life money. It still seems really weird to even say that. Um, I know. Uh, because they enjoy our content is um, a, a genuinely humbling thing and yeah. makes us feel amazing. So yeah. Thank you. And I believe that is the end of our fifty k video. Yeah, I um, don't know about you. But uh, I'm feeling pretty ready for some Halloweening. Ah, oh, me too. Um, so we're sorry that uh, this has been a bit of a funny episode, but we just wanted to make the Q and A uh, and show you our cool Halloween costumes that uh, we're going to go out and have fun with now. Have and you noticed how amazing the shading is on this? Yes, I do like the highlighted blues. <laughs> I, I like that's that's not just natural light. That's, that's not, part of the costume, that's the costume which right is there. awesome. Um, so we're going to go out. Uh, and have some awesome Halloween times. Thank you for joining us in this episode. I promise the Suramar video will be coming out next. Uh, we've got a tran whole Transmog series that mm -hmm. we want to bring out. And we're going to continue bringing out, um, I guess we're going to do one for BlizzCon and stuff like that as Let's well. Let's do it. Oh, amazing. Guys, thank you so much thank you. for being our subs and our viewers uh, and being part of this channel because it is your channel as well. Um, see you soon for our proper videos. So for me, <laughs> Taliesin. <laughs> and me, Evertel. No! Cheers! Cheers! And cheerio! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Ooh. <laughs> Wasn't very scary this episode, was it? No. Could have been scarier. Could have been. Boo! <laughs>